In the second part of lab three, we want to connect a segmented multi-digit LED display like this one here to our microcontroller. So we have four digits and each number is made up of seven segments. Let's have a closer look here. This is how this little module looks like. And uh, on the bottom side, it has these 16 pins, two rows of eight pins, which we want to connect to our microcontroller. And in order to do so, we will have a look on how these are connected internally. So what is what on these 16 pins? And we can find this in the data sheet. So we have 16 pins, eight on either side. So these were four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the other side as well. In this standard numbering of integrated circuits, it would be number pin number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And according to the data sheet, now this here is the positive side of all the LEDs in the first number. So digit number one. Then we have the positive side of all the LEDs in the second digit. And then we have the negative side of the segment D. In a seven segment display like this, the individual segments are named with letters. So we have these seven segments. And the numbering starts or lettering starts up here with the letter A. Then we have B, C, D, E, F, and G. And all our numbers also have a decimal point, which I call, call DP right now. So that's down here. And there are actually three more LEDs here in the middle and up here, but we will not care about these. And uh, let's just have a look how the rest is connected. So the pin number four is actually connected to the two LEDs here in the middle diagonal. We will ignore these. Pin number five is the cathode or negative side of all the E segments. Then comes pin number six, which is the positive side of digit number three. Number seven is our decimal point, the negative side. And then we have number eight here, which is digit four, the positive side of the last digit here. Number nine and 10 are the upper LED here, which we will ignore. And then comes 11, which is the, positive, no, the negative side of the segment F. Number 12 is the opposite side to, to the um, diagonal LEDs, which we ignore. And then comes number 13, which is C, the negative side of it. Then A, G, and B. A, G, and B. And we want to connect these to our microcontroller. But since these are directly connected diodes, we have to have resistors in between. And in order to not use seven or eight separate resistors, you will find in your project box a small module like this with eight 240 ohm resistors, which we will use and uh, connect our LEDs through. 
So we have, I have already connected the microcontroller to the programmer and I put in the resistor module here and the LED module here. If I press the LED module all the way down, then I will not see where the pins are anymore. So I will mark pin number one directly. This is the positive side of the first digit with a red wire here because we want to connect it to the positive supply later on anyway. So I'll, I know where, where the numbering starts and where the pins start. I will now take these white wires here and connect them between the LEDs and the resistors. So we start with A and uh, A would then be uh, this one, two over here. This is the pin for the A segments, goes to the first resistor on the, from the right. Then I'll take B, which is this connected over here. Then I'll take C, which I find next to A, and it goes over here. Then I take D, which is down here, and connect it to the fourth resistor. E is one empty, and then the next to the right of D over here. Then we have F on the top again, which is one empty to the right from C pin goes here. G is the one between A and B on this side. So there's one empty slot left here. And then we have our decimal point number seven down here, which I will also connect to the eighth resistor. And now I want to connect these uh, to the pins of port D. So I'll take green wires here and take the rightmost resistor and connect it to pin D0 on our microcontroller, which is here. D1 is here and goes to the next D2. is the next one in the sequence. D3, D4, then come the two, uh, posit or the two supply pins from our microcontroller, then come the two pins from port B, and then comes the next pin of port D. And there are actually two more then to connect like this. So, and now I can connect my supply voltage here. Uh, the display is dark, but I will just briefly, quickly write a test program or change something in my program here to make it a test program. No, you are not, will not see the code. You have your own code. Um, later on, I'll compile it and I'll program it in the microcontroller and we see that something is happening on our display here. Um, it's not really nice, but it works. <laughs>